The common law doctrines of champerty and maintenance are used to prohibit third parties from financing the legal costs of a party in a litigation matter. The argument is made that they protect litigants from predatory behavior by well-heeled financiers. But courts in several states have abandoned these doctrines. They have made it clear they are not necessary to protect parties who need financial help in their pursuit of justice. In 1997, in Saladini v. Regalis, the Massachusetts Supreme Court eliminated the doctrines of champerty and maintenance. In that case, the parties entered into an agreement where the plaintiff would support the defendant in litigation involving real estate. After the defendant successfully settled the real estate matter, he refused to pay the plaintiff according to the agreement. When the plaintiff sued to enforce the agreement, the defendant argued the agreement was invalid due to the doctrine of champerty. The trial court relied on the doctrine of champerty to rule in favor of the defendant. However, the Massachusetts Supreme Court overruled it. That court ruled that modern doctrines of contract law and rules prohibiting misconduct in frivolous lawsuits were sufficient to address any issues from an allegation that a contract was improper and unenforceable. The Supreme Court of South Carolina adopted a similar rationale in Osprey Incorporated versus Cabana Limited Partnership. It held that other well-developed principles of law can more effectively accomplish the goals of preventing speculation in groundless or frivolous suits than dated notions of champerty. The Osprey Court also noted that state rules of professional conduct, contract law, and other doctrines are more appropriate ways to challenge questionable litigation finance agreements. California takes a similar approach to litigation financing. In Abbott Ford Incorporated versus Superior Court, the California Supreme Court upheld an agreement for third-party litigation financing. They noted California courts had never adopted the doctrine of champerty. The Abbott Ford Court then employed the doctrine of good faith. To conclude, there was no obstacle to enforcing the litigation finance agreement. These cases show that the doctrines of champerty and maintenance are rather like your appendix. They once served an important function, but now have no practical value or serve any purpose. There are plenty of legal rules that prevent parties from maintaining frivolous lawsuits or exploiting counterparties in contractual agreements. It is those contemporary rules, not medieval doctrines, that should be applied to determine the legality of litigation funding agreements. If you need help with litigation funding, call or email me today.